Well, hello. Welcome to this week's episode. I'm freezing. I'm gonna put on my hoodie. I was cold. So welcome to the vlog. Uh, start off today by telling you about a giveaway and yep, we're gonna give away a lot of stuff, but mainly next year from two different manufacturers, we're gonna be giving you away a smoker. Both of these are stick burning offsets. What else would we give away? The details will be released in January. I don't know when, probably the middle part of January, but you definitely wanna check it out. It's pretty easy, it's free to enter, and somebody's gonna win a smoker. I don't know what the odds are, but somebody could probably win two smokers. Check out the channel in between here in January because you might miss something really great. Let's talk about seasoning your smoker here on this rainy cold day. But first of all, let's talk about why we season it. Number one is it's a protective coat that goes over the steel. So if you coat your smoker in any kind of oil that's a food grade oil on the inside and even in the outside, it'll protect it from rust. So that's the main reason that we season the smoker. The second reason you season your smoker is maybe for some flavor. Give your smoker some odor character and that's all subjective. So there's all kinds of oils that you can use for your cookers. You can use peanut, canola, um, soy oil, you can use spray on Pam, here's Pam olive oil, you can use avocado, red palm organic sunflower oil if you so choose. But today we're going to talk about fat from beef. I am a big proponent of utilizing the entire animal, especially for an animal that has a lot of great carcass quality other than just the cuts we know, the steaks and the briskets and the ground beef. If you're already ordering or harvesting whole half and quarter cuts, then you probably already know you want to utilize every bit you can and it'll be great to season your smoker. There are several different types of beef fat. Now the suet, or what I know to be suet, is the internal hard fat, kind of the protective of the kidneys. It's uh, something that's not really in the muscle, the connective tissue. Um, a lot of times I think it's used mainly for just making products like soap. So the other fat is more of a connective tissue fat. It's found in like the pieces that you'll trim off of a brisket or steaks. It will render down, some of it will render down to be really good fat, both to cook with, and it'll be great to put in a spray bottle and season your smoker. Well, let's head on into the kitchen and get started. I need my stock pot. I'll grab that. So we've moved in here to the kitchen and we're gonna start the process of dicing up into small cubes the suet or fat. The tools that I use, you can use any of these little pots, uh, eight quart, six quart. Uh, I'm gonna put these away because for this job, I like to use this aluminum alloy stock pot. I just showed you the lid, but here's the whole pot. Uh, of course, a cutting board. And I'll usually stick some gloves underneath the cutting board. This is just gonna give you a little bit of a traction to where it doesn't slide on you. We go ahead and glove up. So let's look at these two fats that we have here. Of course, this is stuff that I bought at my local butcher shop. And a lot of this looks to be internal fat referred to as suet, well, that's how I know it. But I'm gonna end up using this fat here based upon my preference. This is brisket trimmings, and when you trim a brisket, sometimes you have really good meat that you're discarding. You can take it and make it into sausage. We're not doing that today. So we're only here to make some tallow. So what I wanna do is kinda move this stuff over and start trimming away the fat. Now what I don't use, now that probably won't make too much greatness. But I'm just gonna take these and kind of just cut them into real small cubes. That's about a one inch by a one inch cube. Um, eh, that'll be perfect. And we could be doing this forever. So we're just gonna take some of the fat off of here and then we'll go ahead and throw it on the uh, stove. So this is what we ended up with. We ended up with about three pounds, maybe two, three pounds uh, of diced up fat that will render down and become tallow. So we got the fire going on this thing. We're gonna kind of get it until this water starts to boil. Don't freak out. This is going on your steel grates, but this water and this oil will separate. There's two different methods. You can go low and slow, or you can go hot and fast. <clears throat> and the hot and fast, you add water. 
We've got about eight cups of water, maybe a little bit more. And we're gonna close this guy back up. So this has been on for a couple hours, boiling. I just turned it down to simmer just so it's a little easier to handle. And uh, it should be rendered. We're gonna pour it into here in this strainer. This is a little bit of cheesecloth. It does refine it a little bit. We'll do this really carefully. And we'll just pour <clears throat> a little bit at a time. Of course, the water's gonna go to the bottom. So this is the final product. This is the tallow here on the top. We'll let that sit for a couple hours and that'll harden up. We'll just pull the tallow out of there. We might have to cut it out. So this right here is the tallow. I'll lift it up a little bit. You can see the tallow is the top. There's water in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is grab another bowl. So I've got this other bowl here, and what I'll do is I'll carefully dig this out. There are a lot of people that don't want this mashed potato texture, but we do. And we're gonna turn this back into the stock pot, render it down again, melt it, get rid of the, the rest of this excess water, throw it in a bottle. So I've re-rendered down the rest of this tallow, and I'll pick out some of the little flakes, and then I'll stick it in this uh, spray bottle, just a little generic spray bottle, and uh, we'll go out to the cooker and spray it on. sweatshirt back on let's go back outside so it's like wintery rain weather and I'm just gonna dry this thing because we can spray the outside of this guy we can spray the inside right now we're just gonna make sure that no water got in there it's pretty good and we're just going to kind of hit it with tallow saturate the grates cover it up in a liberal coat and this little bit right here will go a long ways. It will actually cover this entire smoker probably inside and out and still with a little bit left over. It's cold. My nose is running. Okay, I think we've got it all. We've covered the camera, the smoker. This concludes the seething of a smoker. Hey, follow us on Instagram and uh, that's at Qtorals and see you next week.